Hello, how to solve this radical problem? We have square root of 2 plus square root of t equals 2. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, we can just recopy this problem. We have root 2 plus root t, and this equals 2. I can decide to take the squares of both part of this equation. Now, this is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of 2. And this equals a squared plus 2 times ab plus b to the power of 2. And in this case, our square root of a is, square root of 2 is a, and root of t is b. So let's use this to expand. a squared will be root 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 times root 2 times root t plus root t to the power of 2. This equals 2 squared is 4. So from here, this cancel this. I have 2 plus 2 times root 2. That is 2 root 2 times root t. This is 2 root 2t two plus this cancel this. I have t and this equals 4. So from here, I can decide to move t over here and also I move the 2 over here. I have 2 times 2 root t equal to this is 4. The t will be negative t and the 2 will be negative 2. So from here, I'm going to have 2 root 2t two equals 4 minus 2. This is 2 minus t. So we can divide this by this 2 here and divide this by 2. Right now, the 2 eliminates 2, so we have square root of 2t equals 2 minus t divided by 2. I need to eliminate the square root again. I take the squares up to part of this equation. So from here, the square root cancel the square, I have 2t equals this. I'm going to have 2 minus t divided by 2 times 2 minus t divided by 2. So from here, I'm going to have 2t equals 2 times 2. That is 4. 2 times negative t, negative 2t, negative t times 2, negative 2t, negative t times negative 2, plus t squared, divided by 2 times 2, that is 4. I cross multiply. 4 multiplies 2t, that is 8t equals 4, minus 4t plus t squared. So, I move this 8t over here. It changes to 0. Um, this becomes 0 and changes to in negative 8t. I have 0 equals 4, minus 4t plus t power 2, minus 8t. So, I have 0 equals negative 4t minus 8t, that is negative 12t. So I have 4 minus 12t plus t squared. Let's rearrange it starting from t squared. So I have t squared minus 12t plus 4 equals 0. So let's solve this. We are going to solve it using the formula method. I have t equals negative p plus or minus square root of this is b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2a. So right now, 1 is the equation of t squared, that is our a, this is our b, and this is c. So let's insert it right here. We have t equals negative times negative 12 plus or minus square root of b squared negative 12 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 1 times c, that is 4, we verify 2 times 1. So from here, I have t equals this is 12 plus or minus square root of negative 12 power 2, this is 144, minus, that is minus, this is 16, 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 4, 16. And this is divided by 2. 
So from here, you are simply going to have this is 12, c equals 12, plus a minus square root of 144 minus 16 will give you 128 divided by 2. So from here, you have t equals 12 plus a minus square root of 128. You can simply express it as 64 times 2 divided by 2. And this will give you 12 plus or minus the half square root of 64 times square root of 2 divided by 2. So right now, we are going to have t equals 12 plus or minus square root of 64. This is 8 times root 2 divided by 2. And this equals 12 plus or minus. This is 8 root 2 divided by 2. To, to cancel the same ones, cancel 12, 6, cancel 8, 4. So, what we are going to have will be t equals 6 plus or minus 4 root 2. So, we have two values for t. We have t equals 6 plus 4 root 2. Or we also have another value for t. T equals 6 minus 4 root 2. So these are the two values. Now, what we are going to do will be to check using these two values and find out if the two values actually satisfy the equation or it is only one value that satisfies this equation. So let's do that. I have checked. So I record the problem root 2 plus root t equals 2, so I have root 2 plus root our t, let's start with when t is 6 plus 4 root 2, so you have two values for t, remember t equals 6 plus 4 root 2, and also t equals 6 minus 4 root 2, so those are the two values, now here I'm going to have 6 plus 4 root 2 equals 2. Square root of 2, this is our 1.4. So this is greater than 1. This 4 root 2 will give you our 5 prime something. Plus this, so this is also greater than 3. So this is greater than 3. A number greater than 1 plus a number greater than 3, then it's obviously not 2. So this is not correct. So we consider this one here. When t equals 6 minus 4 root 2, I have square root of 2 plus square root of t equals 2. I substitute it with 6 minus 4 root 2. I mean t. I have root 2 plus square root of 6 minus 4 root 2 equals 2. This is about 1.4. That is less than 2, or greater than 1, but less than 2, plus this will give you 5 point something, so this is also about 0 point something, so this is less than 1. A number that is less than 2 plus a number less than 1 will definitely give you 2. In fact, if I want to go or to be more precise, this is about 1.4, plus this is about 0 0.6 something. So if you add these two, you are going to have a personal value of 2. So that is the correct answer, 6 minus 4 root 2. So we have only one solution, which is t equals 6 minus 4 root 2. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.